Hey, this is Lance from Langchain. Audio is a really nice interaction pattern for certain agents. And I'm gonna show you an example of that right now. This is an agent I've been using to track my personal to-dos. It's called Task Maestro. And I wanted to add an audio input and an output to it. Let's see it in action. First, I'm gonna kick off the agent and give it some general instructions about myself. Hi, my name's Lance. I live in San Francisco with my wife and one-year-old. Hello, Lance. It's great to meet you. If there's anything specific you need help with, feel free to let me know. So this particular agent is designed to learn about me, my preferences, and track my to-dos over time. Let's give it some preferences. When you respond to me, I want you to be very enthusiastic in your responses and very supportive and happy. Got it, Lance. I'm super excited to help you out with anything you need. <laughs> Just let me know what you need assistance with and I'll be here cheering you on every step of the way. Great. Now let's give it some to-dos. Add a to-do to walk the dog tomorrow night and make sure I get it done by end of day tomorrow. Awesome, Lance. I've added walk the dog to your to-do list for tomorrow night and it's set to be completed by the end of the day. You're going to rock this. <laughs> Remember to set a reminder on your phone Prepare the leash and dog bags in advance. So now that you've seen this in action, I want to walk through specifically how I built all this and how you can do the same very easily with any existing graph that takes in text. So here's really the key idea. I have an existing graph. That's my Taskmeister graph. It had previously been working only with messages in and messages out. So basically I interacted with, so basically I interacted with it via chat. Now, I very simply added two new nodes to my graph, one on the input to convert my voice to text. For that, I use OpenAI Whisper. And on the output, text to audio, I use 11 labs. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. Now, there's really two main concepts here. The first is this core Task Maestro app. Where is it? How did I deploy that? How am I interacting with it? That's point one I'll cover. Then point two is how can I take that deployed app and add audio to it really easily? First, let's very briefly look at this app itself. So I'm in the repo right now. You can scroll down and see what Task Metro is all about. So it's an app for managing tasks using chat, or as we just showed, audio. It allows for natural conversation to update or add tasks, and it adaptively learns about you. Now, to quick start, I mentioned here, just create an env file. The easiest way to deploy this is just download the LangGraph Studio desktop app here, and you can create a deployment through that app just by loading this repo directly. So here I'm in LangGraph Studio. I've loaded the repo directory. And you'll see that the Taskmaster app now here is visible. You can see these are the various nodes. Now, all we're gonna need to add audio input and output is we just need to copy over this URL. This is a URL that allows us to connect with our local deployment. So now we've seen this point one. We've shown how to use LangGraph Studio to create a local deployment for our app. So that's this blue thing here. That's the Taskmaster app. We have a local deployment running low end it's accessible to us via the url that we got from landgraph studio which i'm adding right here now let's see how to actually connect with this and build the audio input and audio output so here i am in a fresh notebook all i've done is i've basically ensured that openai api key is set for whisper and i've also made sure that my 11 labs api key is set that's all i need initialize openai client initialize 11 labs client that's it. Now here's the thing that's nice and super simple. Remember that URL we just grabbed from Studio? Just add it here. Add our graph name, Task Maestro. And you can use this remote graph. Now this is an abstraction within LangGraph that allows you to connect to deployed graphs. In our case, our graph is deployed locally via LangGraph Studio, which makes it nice and easy to grab. Now there's other deployment options for LangGraph including LangGraph Cloud. If you had a cloud deployment, you can add it just as easily by supplying that cloud URL. But 
I'm using local for now because local is free and very simple to get started. So what do I want to do next? I want to take this remote graph and I want to add two new nodes to it. One is that audio to text, pass the text into my graph, get the output from my graph, convert to audio. So let's do the first one. Here's a function that will serve as a graph node that's basically just going to record audio until I stop using return. So all that happens in here, it's super simple. Continuously record audio from my mic and wait for the user to hit enter before stopping. Spin those up as two separate threads, wait for both threads to complete, stack the audio chunks into a NumPy array, convert to an in-memory file format, pass it to Whisper. That's really it. So you're basically just listening to your mic, converting that input to a file, passing that to Whisper, and then I print out the transcription that I get. And I add that to my graph state. Now on the other end, I'm going to want a node play audio. That's going to take the output of my graph, convert it back to audio using 11 labs. So in this case, I just grab the graph state, get the final response from our agent, clean it a little bit, pass it to 11 labs, and play. Now let's go ahead and look at this all put together. So you can see here, what I've done is actually very straightforward. I've added a node for that record audio until stop, which we defined above. I add a node for play audio, which we just defined as well. Now in the middle, what's this yellow thing? So this is my locally deployed task maestro, which we connected to above. I can embed that all as a subgraph, and I'm just passing in remote graph here. Now remember, let's go back and look at what is remote graph. That was defined right here, you see. That is where we connected to our local deployment. And what's really nice in LangGraph, I can just embed this as a subgraph. So I don't, have to, I don't need to redefine all that. In fact, this is just the local deployment, which is quite nice because when I create a deployment, I get things like long-term memory. And that's because each LangGraph deployment comes built in with Postgres for short-term and long-term memory storage. Now, just as I showed at the beginning, I can just run this graph and it's gonna kick off that audio input first and it'll kick off the audio output after the graph runs, which is why I'm able to speak to it and get the output from the graph as audio. Add another to do to take out the garbage by Friday. I've added another task to take out the garbage by Friday. You're all set to tackle it with ease. Let me know if there's anything else I can help with. So we can clearly interact with our graph now via audio, which is really nice, and it's pretty simple. We've just taken our local deployment and added these two nodes to basically make it audio compatible on the input and the output. Now what's nice is we can go back to our local deployment, and let's have a look at memories saved there. So I'm back in Studio, open up this memory tab, and we can see there's some general instructions added here. This is the user I've been using in the notebook, and there it is. It has some general information about me, my profile, my preferences, and it also has my to-do saved here. So we've successfully augmented this graph, which I use for my to-dos, very simply with audio input and audio output. So just to recap, if I already have a graph that takes text, for example, chat as input and output, I can pretty easily augment it for audio. And as you just show here, I just simply, in my case, create a local deployment, create a new input node that goes from audio to text, and a new output node, text to audio. And I very simply then take the text I derive from the audio, pass that in as a message. Likewise, take the message out from the agent, convert that to audio, present that to the user very simply retrofit to my existing graph to make it an audio UX. So all the code will be accessible in the description in the video below. And also, if you want to learn more about the Task Maestro app itself, we have a whole module in LangChain Academy just focused on long-term memory and building that app in particular. Now also, if you want to learn more about deployment, for example, locally 
or to cloud, module six of LangChain Academy focuses all on LangGraph app deployment. So you can really dig into those topics more if you're interested. But for now, I just want to showcase that's very easy to take a deploy graph or any graph in LangGraph and very simply add nodes to convert audio to text on the input, text to audio on the output, effectively retrofitting it to be an audio UX. So I hope this is helpful and uh, have fun. Feel free to leave any comments below.